Welcome back to the lecture series of sensors and transducers. In this session, I'm going to discuss most important questions from module two. Okay, so moving on to the discussion. The first question is, so derive the expression for gauge factor of a uniform length of a conductor, which is shown in the figure 3a. So we can see the resistance uh, R afterwards the change in after the deformation happened the value of resistance has been uh, changed by the delta r and this is a change in length okay so you should know about the basics of strain gauge so by applying the principle of strain gauge you can derive uh, the expression for gauge factor so so that's a general question which you can expect for the forthcoming examination derive the expression for gauge gauge factor of a given strain gauge second question 3b with a supporting diagram, explain the operation of pneumatic proximity sensor. So explanation carries three marks and your diagram carries three marks. I have already explained in details. Kindly go through that. So I already given the entire details in my video. You can just go through that. Similarly, uh, other important question is obtain the mathematical expression for output voltage of a strain gauge using the V-Stones bridge. Okay, so like uh, you'll be measuring the changes in resistance in the uh, like uh, V-Stones bridge only. So one of the arms which you are going to compute the unknown value of resistance by balancing the bridge. For example, uh, R4 by R3. See, R4 by R3 is equal to uh, R1 by R2. So here you will be computing the unknown value of resistance. Okay. Now uh, we can come and find out the unknown value of resistance by balancing the V-Stones bridge. Here there are different configurations. You have to explain. Uh, the calculation of unknown value of resistance by using the quarter bridge, half bridge and full bridge configuration. So uh, this is a like important questions. Directly you will be getting uh, complete marks. Full marks you will be getting if you solve this particular uh, derivation. Okay. You can practice it. Uh, I believe I already discussed the same concept in the video. You can refer. Okay. So question number 3A. Let's see like what is strain gauge uh, which is actually asked in the year of 2018. What is strain gauge? Explain the Con, uh, like a concept of strain gauge using neat diagram. So type of strain gauge, like a foil type and a semiconductor strain gauge. The weightage is 7 marks. Okay, 3.5 plus 3.5. Another one is a numerical example. A simple electrical, electrical strain gauge of resistance. Given data, resistance, which is having the gauge factor, GF is equal to 2, and bound it having the steel electrostatic limit stress of uh, 400 mn per meter square. Okay. And the modulus elasticity is also given 200 gn per meter square. Calculate the changes in resistance. Delta R you have to calculate. Then due to the changes in stress equal to 1 by 10th of the elastic range, due to the changes in temperature 20 degrees Celsius, if the material uh, is alloy, the resistance of the temperature coefficient is uh, 20 into 10 to the power minus 6 de per degree Celsius. Okay. Given data you have to note down. So you can solve the numerical example in this fashion. Given data, later you can apply the relation of gauge factor. Okay. So I'll be showing you for the betterment. So what are the parameters they have given? You can note down like this. Gauge factor, then uh, unknown, the value of resistance, which is already provided. That also you can note down. Uh, similarly, uh, elastic stress that you can convert into SI unit. Modulus elasticity that is also can be converted into uh, SI unit. Okay. Giga Newton means uh, you have to convert into Newton by multiplying 10 to the power 9. Mega Newton means you have to convert uh, the Mega Newton into Newton by multiplying 10 to the power 6, right? Then temperature delta T, change in temperature is also given. Then uh, temperature coefficient of resistance alpha is also provided. So now by, by using the like a general formula, delta sigma that is equal to 1 by 10th of sigma elastic limit, which is already given in the question. 1 by 10 of this value, you will be getting a 40 into 10 to the power 6 uh, Newton per meter square. Calculate the strain you can calculate. Delta sigma divided by E. Elasticity is already provided. Delta sigma we just computed right now. Okay, you, know, you have to take the 1 by 10th of the original value. Okay, that is already provided in the question paper. Next is calculate the changes in resistance. Delta R. So, gauge factor into epsilon. That is nothing but delta R by R. So, that's a general formula. Delta R by uh, the given value of resistance is 120. Uh, then gauge factor is already, already provided. And uh, the value of epsilon is also given. Now, what you can do is calculate delta R separately. So this is the way how to calculate the delta R. Now change in resistance due to uh, change in temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. Okay. So now you have to calculate delta RT by using the temperature coefficient of resistance, then uh, R and delta T. So you'll be getting how much? It will be 0 0.0484. So these are the final answers. Change in resistance due to change in stress 
to 1 by 10 of elastic elastic range is delta r equal to 0 0.08 0 0.048 ohm then change in resistance due to temperature of 20 degree celsius that is equal to 0 0.048 i request you to practice given data uh, then you should know the basic concept okay read the question it's already given later on you will be applying the formula of uh, modulus elasticity uh, then uh, calculate the change in resistance delta r that's also standard formula Ultimately, uh, like a change in resistance due to temperature change also can be computed using this formula. So these are the three segments of this program. problem. I request you to go through individually. So you can uh, pause this particular video, uh, solve yourself, then come back to the video and verify the right answer. Okay, these are the right answers. Uh, if you solve this, you will be getting five marks. Define the load cell. Explain briefly the hydraulic type load cell. So here, uh, diagram is expected. Also, brief explanation. Now, in the like uh, next question is actually explain the following within the diagram: AD current, proximity sensor, and pneumatic sensor. These are the types of proxim types of the proximity sensor. Then uh, define uh, define uh, digital decode encoder. What do you mean by encoder? How how does it work? Explain the various type of digital codes with the help of uh, an example. Okay, four plus four marks. When it comes to uh, the latest paper, June July twenty twenty three. Explain the purpose of color temperature light flux in light measurement. Explain the image transducer with the help of uh, video con principle. Okay. So check the syllabus in the last 2015 syllabus. This is not included, but in the latest syllabus they have added this particular concept. Mini diagram explain the photo emissive cell and photo multiplier. Okay. It is based on the photonics concept. Uh, discuss solid state transducers, liquid crystal display with the neat diagram wherever necessary. Five plus five marks, ten marks. And now, uh, June, July 2019, uh, explain the working of semiconductor strain gauge with the advantages and disadvantages. What do you mean by semiconductor strain gauge? Uh, then pros and cons. Okay, three plus three marks. Explain the pneumatic sensor and the AD current proximity sensor. That is very important. It's already a repeated question. By this digital transducer, what are the advantages of digital transducer? Carries four marks, two plus two. Uh, explain the working of synchronous uh, synchronous and resolver. What is synchro and resolver? It's already done. Every All the topics I have completed in my lecture series, what are the advantage, advantages of uh, synchros, right? Next is called, uh, what is micro electromechanical system, MEMS, MEMS accelerometer, its application and advantage, only four marks, okay? Diagram is expected, another two, uh, like uh, four points you have to explain, one page, four marks. What are the factors needed to be considered for selecting the sensor for a particular application? A checklist you have to prepare, sensitivity, selectivity, those checklists you have to prepare. It should be reliable, okay? rigid those parameters you have to explain and elaborate in the briefly also you can uh, go through few more important questions which i prepared by my own what is strain gauge what are the types of strain gauge already i think uh, you have seen in the previous year question paper also they mentioned the name but uh, sometimes they may ask in terms of like the types of strain gauge what is load cell explain the working of load cell and types of load cells also you can expect it what is a schematic diagram and explain the eddy current proximity sensor Suitable block diagram explain the operation of smart sensors. What is a smart sensor? What are the applications? Because all in one, that is called a smart sensor. Three to four, uh, like a type of quantity can be measured by using a single sensor. That is a concept of smart sensor. Explain the working of fiber optic transducer, optical fiber communication. Total internal reflection is the basic principle of optical fiber transducers. Okay, these are the uh, like uh, probable questions which you can expect in the uh, next time. Okay, also list the factors to be considered for the selection that is already done. Then synchros and resolvers explain the working of induction potentiometer, uh, then microelectromechanical system, and ultimately uh, MEMS accelerometer. These are the questions. Let me know if you have any queries. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Happy learning.